ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. And I know there's gold in here. <laughs> I know it's in here because I can smell it. You know you get like I am. Yes, sir, you, you can smell gold from a mile away. Uh, hey, all right, come on. Get going. Turn it on, Mr. Look in the wrong direction, Hovey. They're over there. Oh, come on. Yep, yep. Hey, Dick, Dick. Come here, boy. Come here. Look. Oh, yeah. We struck it, boy. We struck it. Look at that. It's pay dirt. Pay dirt. Yeah. Gold. 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 Yeah. Look at it, boy. Just look at it. We struck a bananas, this boy. We <laughs> struck it this time. You said it would be here. Oh, I know it was here. Yeah, but it's bigger than I thought it was. This ain't just an ordinary gold strike. No, this is an important one. That's why I want you to keep it under your hat, boy. Don't you lay your tongue to it. Don't tell every soul. Not until you get to the land office and register it, you hear? Don't worry, I won't. You want anything special from town? Oh, no, no. It'll, it'll, it'll wait. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get me a brand new set of store teeth made out of this gold, too. <laughs> Say, oh, yeah, you, you better stop and see your pa. Yeah, because you know he'll be pining for you. Well, that works both ways. Yeah. But, hey, oh, wait a minute. Don't go, don't, don't go. I want to give you the bearings of the location. I don't need it. I've got it in my head. Oh, that's good. You keep it there, boy. Keep it there. Oh, Joe. Oh, boy. Come on. Ah! Yeah. Oh, Joe. Ah! There he is. Looks like a man riding with something on his mind. Yeah. I'll wait for him here. Get over to bushes and cover him. What's up? You're Dick McHenry. That's right. Thought I heard some blasting. So did I. Somebody working a mine around here? That's a fair guess. You and Ed Dudley. That's a good guess. Saddlebags sure loaded. Mister, you're blocking the trail. I said you were blocking the trail. I'll give you just 10 seconds to light out of here. Now put the artillery away, kid, and let's take a look in those bags. Say, I know you. You're Zack Carter, the gambler. You hang around with another tin horn named Hovey. Now I'll give you just three seconds to get out of here. One, two. <laughs> Shots come from there. That means trouble, Tonham. Let's have a look. It isn't possible. My guys, look at this stuff, Zach. Look. This is real fancy. I had a hunch you had your eyes on something like this. We've got to find that mine. We've got to file a claim on it. Yeah. Why didn't you shoot him in the arm? You didn't have to close his mouth. He wasn't going to shoot you in the arm. He'd have plugged you dead center. Yeah, but you had time to aim. He didn't. We could have made him give us the location of that mine. Yeah, nothing in his pockets. Now we got the job of finding it. Maybe he's still alive enough to talk. Hey. Hey. Hey, McHenry. Oh, kid. wasting your time. He's through. About the only thing we can do now is back trailing. Go to the mine? Say, that's a smart idea. Do you know how to trail? No. I thought maybe you did. I'm a card player like you. Where would I learn any Indian tricks? Well, let's go back to town. I'll think of something. Hello. Down there. Him still alive, Kimasabi. Why, you low down bushwhacking buzzards. Get away from that boy. I thought I'd find something like this when I heard them shots. You murdering coyotes. We heard the shots too, mister. Oh, sure. You look innocent enough. I saw that the minute that I come in. Hey, Injun, tell your pal Larry he forgot to take off his mask. 
Never mind the mask. This boy has one chance in a thousand to live, and while we stand here wasting time talking, he's losing that chance. Tonto, the water. I told you now, stay away from that boy. Put down that carbine and lend a hand. Hey, you got a way with you. Who are you, anyhow? What makes you think I ought to trust you? Did you ever see a silver bullet like this before? Well, the Lone Ranger. Well, you've proved to me that you didn't kill him. But, but who did? Him a subby, see what me find. Where? Uh, horse stand there a little time, then cards fall. Somebody must have been waiting for him. Him stand there, face this way. I see. Well, these cards are marked. Yeah, I'll find one he was. Carries more card around and then shoots a man in the back. There must have been two of them. If the one with the cards was facing the boy, there had to be another one to shoot him in the back. I think we'll find a cheap pair of gamblers mixed up in this. I think what we ought to do is look for them two saddlebags. Because they're loaded plumb full of high-grade ore. Yeah, and that's why they killed him. He hasn't been killed yet, but he's mighty close to it. Does that give you the shakes? Yeah. Where's it come from? Wofford, you'll never be a rich man. What difference does it make where it comes from? You should say, how can I get it? My chance will come. When? You're not getting any younger. You've been in this hole so long, Wofford, you're going to die in it. There's big cities, like New York, London and Paris. Do you think you'll ever get to see those big cities, Wofford? You're feeling pretty chipper. I bet the fellow you got this from don't feel so good. Do you think we stole this, Wofford? How else would you get it? You bring it in here and file a claim on it and make me feel like a fool. Is it my fault I haven't got two bits? I don't get any chances. But is that my fault? There's two things wrong with what you said. First, we can't file a claim on this because we don't know where it is. Second, you do get chances, and we're going to give you one right now. Do you know how everybody thinks that uh, Ed Dudley and young McHenry knows there's gold in the hills? Yeah, that old desert rat. That's just a lie to get himself a grub steak. Uh-uh. No lie. This is it. How's that again the way you say I should talk? How do I get it? <laughs> he sure learns fast. How do I get it? Like this. You get one-third in this manner and a wit. If Ed Dudley or old man McHenry comes here to file a claim in the unfriendly mountains, you don't file a claim. You give us a location. Oh, you can't do this without some killing. Does that bother you? Sure. It has to be a killing, Wofford. Now wake up. Now that you know all about this, you better line up with us or you'll be the first man to die. I got another ace up my sleeve. I think I know how to make old man McHenry lead us right smack into that mine. You don't know him. I mean, you're new around here. You never saw him get mad. I want him to get mad. That's what I'm counting on. I want him to get so mad that he'll strap on his guns and go looking for Ed Dudley. We can't stay here. You don't even have decent shelter. Uh, the sky was always good enough roof for me. Not for a wounded boy, Ed. Tonto, I want you to ride to his father's ranch. Tell Mr. McHenry the whole story. Then bring back a wagon and some mattresses. We've got to take this boy home. That's right, Kimisev. You know, old Tom is sure going to bust a sense when he hears about this. I don't believe there's anything in the world that old Tom cared more for than this young man. I'm going to ride to town and see if I can match those cars to the man who dropped them. You keep your eyes open for trouble. Well, do you reckon them tin horns will keep trying? Yes, Ed, they're bound to now that they've seen what came out of this mine. Yeah, wait just a minute. There's one thing I didn't tell you. See, Dick here was on his way to the office to file the claim. And it's not yet protected. Why, shucks, no. Why, anybody could grab it that would jump us. It may be already grabbed. I'll stop at the land office and register it for you. Yeah, well, here. Here, I'll give you the baron. Say they are. All right, Ed. Take care of the boy. I'll take care of him. What do you want? Heard a rumor. Thought it would be a friendly act to ride over and let you hear it, too. There's just two things I don't have any truck with. Rumors and tin horns. Get. <laughs> 
Rumor says your boy and Ed Dudley struck it rich. Do tell. Rumor goes on to say that Ed Dudley shot your boy in the back. Pull it out, you crazy fool. You got part of my skin. Well, you come here telling me Ed Dudley shot my boy, you lying, sneaking, tin horn bark. Don't you pull any iron on me, you critter. You poison critter. What'd you aim to do with a story like that? Oh, I, I didn't say it was true. I, I said I heard it. You heard what? Where? Who said it? Well, turn me loose and I'll tell you. When I get good and ready, and you answer me when I talk to you. Well, uh, they were talking about it in town, and a saddle bump came in, and he came into the saloon, and, and, and he was talking about it. Yeah, yeah, he, he said he saw it. Go back and tell him he's a liar. Go back and tell him the next time he talks against Ed Dudley, I'll ram the lie down his throat on the end of a 45. Now pull yourself out. Now get off of my land and stay off. That'll be hard to do, remembering this. How, Injun? How? Oh. You're on the McHenry Ranch. What's your name? Me, Tonto. Tonto, huh? Well, you want something? You hungry? No time to eat. Me bring bad news. You too? Your son, Dick, him get shot. Go on. Him find gold. Ride to file claim. Somebody shoot him in back. Mm-hmm. Just who do you think did the shooting? I me not know for sure, but not Ed Dudley. Him say, go bring wagon with mattress. Take boy home. You telling me the truth, Indian? Somebody shot my boy? How bad's he hurt? Plenty bad. All right. Run over to the bunkhouse and tell the boys to give you a couple of mattresses. I'll get the wagon ready. We'll go after him. Go on. Hurry up. Well, did he fall for it? Why, that crazy old vinegaroon. I'll cash him in if it's the last thing I ever do. Did he fall for it? Well, he didn't seem to, but let him think it over. First, he'll begin to get curious. Then he'll wonder. Then he'll travel up that mine to have a look around. And we'll follow him like a gentle little breeze. A gentle little breeze? Just remember this. He's my meat, that McHenry. When the showdown comes, he's my meat. Well, let's wait around a while. He'll come by. Here he comes now. It worked. Ed, I'll tag along after him. You go into town and hang around that land office. What for? Wofford can take care of that angle. Wofford's a worm. If anything goes wrong, he scares too easily. Now go on to town. And Friendly Mountains. But it's here. Just about here. What do you want? There's no money here. Only records. I want to file a claim. Claim? Well, what's the idea of the mask? Never mind the mask. I have good reasons for wearing it. Well, maybe, but this is kind of a regular. I, I don't know whether I should. Nothing in the law says you can't register a claim for a man on a mask. Go ahead. Names Edward Dudley and Richard McHenry. Edward? What's the matter? Oh, nothing there. Give me the location first. From a point northeast of Split Rock in the Unfriendly Mountains. Unf oh, excuse me, I'll get another pen. You seem nervous, Mr. No, I, I just had a hard day. You know, run the land office isn't easy. Uh, did Dudley McHenry strike it rich? I'm just registering a claim for them. <laughs> okay, uh, Unfriendly Mountains. South. 500 yards from a mound of stones. North, 200 feet from Lantern Rock. Oh, excuse me. No, oh, wait. No, you have business I don't want any part of. Hobie, wait. Get him out, mister. Reach. Reach high. What's going on here? Where's Carter? 
Following McHenry and a stray Indian up to the mine? Who's this? I don't know, but he just filed that claim. Dudley's claim? Yep, I've got the whole location right down in the book. Get his guns. What are you two up to? Well, now look who's asking questions. What are you up to? And how did you get into this? You'll find out. Yeah. Wofford, cut the page off that book. I'll take care of the claim and him too. Tear it out, huh? Not a bad idea. Keep your hands off. Remember what you and Carter said? How do I get it? Well, I learn fast. Carter. Carter will get... I'll get him first. And you, mister. I'm taking you in for killing this man. <laughs> his eyes. How's he been? Oh, I wouldn't worry too much about him, Tom. I've seen a lot of weaker men come up from worse. Well, let's get him in the wagon on the mattresses. It's gonna be an awful bumpy ride. Yeah, that's mighty poor excuse for a road up on this. First me feed horse. Him eat plenty. Then him walk slow. Not hurry home to stable. It's a good idea, Injun. You're all right. Ed. Uh. You know a gambler by the name of Carter? Oh, yeah, I heard of him. He's about as crooked as he come, too. I'm going into town and find him. I think he's the Jasper who did this. No, you're going to come back to the ranch. At least right till we find out how the boys are taking it. No. I'm going to kill me a gambler named Carter. Ed! I'm hit! Help me drag the boy into the mine! Come on out of there! Throw out your guns and come on out! You know who this is? You're a bushwhacker. That's all I need to know. This is Carter McHenry. Zack Carter. By the time I'm through with you gentlemen, you're going to be sorry you ever saw a gold mine or a bow and arrow. Bullet no can go around Carter. Better save till later. <coughs> he got his strap, Tom. <coughs> How's that leg? Oh, not very good, Ed. <coughs> you got any ideas, Indian? I'm ready to shoot fast if we come out. I'm not able to get everybody. Maybe one man live, no more. Hunter not like to die like this. <coughs> All right, Chance, it's up to you. You can stay in there and smother like rats. I can take two or three steps, enough to draw his fire and give you boys a chance. Get the wagon out of the way, Injun. <coughs> Why, you crazy galoose, you wouldn't last two seconds out there. Get the wagon out of the way, Injun. move. What's the matter with it? I don't know, maybe it's stuck. Come on.
Carlo, you all right? You come just in time, Kimisami. I'll fix up the wagon, then we'll take them to the ranch. Uh -huh. <coughs> Me, I'm all smoked up inside like the side of bacon. Say, a few more minutes back yonder and we'd all been done for. It was mighty close, Ed. And you quit grumbling about being cheated out of that other gambling critter. We've had enough smoke and gunplay around here for today. I'm going to see Walford in the jail. I'd like you to keep your temper and see that he gets a fair trial. I'm not bothering about Walford. Only thing I care about is his boy. Of course. I'll send the sheriff to take this one in. Yeah, don't you worry about the boy either. I'll see that he's kept in a quiet place. Hey, look, he's coming too. He's opening his eyes. Hello, Dad. I thought I heard some shooting. There was the sheriff. It's all over now. I opened my eyes once. I thought I saw a man in a mask. Hey, you did, boy. Yeah, he saved our gold mine, and he saved the whole parcel alive, too. Ed, yeah, look. Uh, hey, hey, come back here. Who is he? Who him? Why, he's the Lone Ranger. Hello, Silver, how are you? 